Hey there, good morning or good evening, whichever one this is for you. This week's banner is for the Gundam Mark V Missile Pod Equipped. So this is the Mark V, which was uh, shipped off and used by the New to Sides Rebel Faction, which are Titans leftovers that were trying to advocate for Earth supremacy around the time of Double Zeta. A bunch of Titans leftovers from the Grips Conflict got some funding from Neo Zeon and started to, you know, cause havoc on the moon. Task Force Alpha, with all the Zeta Pluses and the Fazes and the S Gundam, are sent to try to quell that. The centerpiece of the new to size resistance is the Mark V, which is kind of like a freakish love baby of uh, the Cycle Mark II. But in a weird Gundam form. Well, no, I might have that a little backwards. So the Mark V and the Gun Psycho Gundam Mark II combine to make the Dovin Wolf. But a lot of the concepts of the Dovin Wolf originate here in the Mark V. Uh, it is a 650 general. Good for space and ground. It does have space compatibility. Uh, the previous one was a raid. So having this one be a general is kind of interesting. Mark V Beam Rifle, Mark V Saber, Beam Cannon Incom's right unit, Beam Cannon Incom left unit. The Independent is weird, but okay. Beam Cannons, Missile Pods for the shoulders that are new, ammo based, Shrapnel Missile, whatever that does, and the shield itself. Large shield, 15,000 HP, not bad. Leg Shock 3, Quick Boost, Dodge Roll 1, Anti Blast, 2 Hit Combo, Power Accelerator, I always love that. Uh, high Performance Balancer, Ambac, Maneuver Armor, Force Injector 2, Tackle 4. Damage Control, which will help because it's a big old fatty. Uh, special Back Buffer, because those are also huge. Leg Buffer, Spatial Awareness Auxiliary Device. When switching target weapons, switch time is decreased by 80%. I wonder if that's when you're going from left to right income. We'll find out in a moment. And then my Shield Booster. Uh, after boosting for a bit, apparently we get some high speed movement boost assistance. Let's check this thing out and see what we got. Head over to our girl Katie. Free practice, head to city. It is a big one. Got hover movement, not terrible walk speed, not terrible turn speed. Faster jumps. Okay. That's a big ass saber. Ooh, it's got that good downswing. Yeah, it's when switching back and forth between the incomes. They're lightning fast. But switching to anything else to incomes is slower. That's interesting. Double beam cannon. Six shot missile pod. Shrapnel missile. I'll have to try that out. As long as you have the shield, your high speed movement's faster and takes up less boost. Okay. Stun in one. That ain't bad. The rapid fire nature of it is kind of nice. You can choose whether you just want to send out one or throw them both out quick. Missile stun well. Shrapnel missiles are shrapnel missiles. They do, in fact, air burst like a shrapnel bazooka. It's kind of like having a six shot shrapnel bazooka just hanging out in your back. Oh, the missiles are all or nothing. You can't just fire one. Interesting. I like the shrapnels. 
You still need three direct hits to actually stun. Can't use them while boosting. Can use them in the air. Can't use it while boosting. Can't use it in the air. Stop to fire. Okay. Being a general 650 kind of puts it in an awkward position, but I don't hate it. The separate incomes are kind of nice, too. Though I don't care for them overheating after one use. They do come back rather quickly. Now, can I move? Nope. I can't move and lock on at the same time. I can't release them while I'm in fast movement. So you have to be not boosting in order to actually deploy them. But I can see some potential with having those rapid fires out. And they don't overheat for that long, honestly. Check some range on these real quick. Good on the rifle. We get to the end of the block. Wow. Did not expect that, actually. Can we get to lamp po Can we get to the uh, second building? Okay, not quite. How about to the yard? No. So end of the block is pretty much where we go, which is still nice. Beam cannon as well reaches that far. How about the end of the yard? No. Okay. Missiles do not reach that far. What the rifle does, which is nice. Incoms probably need to get up to the end of the building. Yep. But that's still an appreciable range for an incom. And I have maneuver armor and a dodge roll. Okay. So no super big gimmick outside of the incom switching. But I see potential. You can probably still play it just like you could Mark V normally. Just, you know, a general instead this time. little awkward having both those incoms on two separate buttons just because that's going to make hot swapping a little goofier you're now using up two of them for it it doesn't feel like it has a lot of boost maybe that's just me a brave machine for a brave cod. I don't think I'm going to pursue it on my main. I've already tried to pull the half off and didn't get it. At least I'm going to be aware of it if I, you know, dip my toes in the 650. Something else my Faz will have to worry about. 